If the Chinese aircraft models C919, C929, and C939 focus on economic efficiency and competitiveness with the West, then the newest aircraft, the just been revealed C949, is a completely different story. That's right, you didn't hear it wrong. The latest Comac C949 is expected to become a masterpiece, redefining the aviation industry with a superior and unique design. But with the limited information we have about it, how will this new aircraft conquer the heights of the aviation industry? How will it surpass the shadow of the legendary Concorde? Let's explore. China's aviation industry is experiencing an unprecedented boom, continuously pushing technological boundaries and challenging Western aerospace giants. The C919, a symbol of China's ambition for aviation self-sufficiency, is steadily securing its position in the regional skies. While the C9, 29 and C939 remain mere designs on paper. China has once again stunned the world with a groundbreaking new project. This time, it is not just another commercial aircraft, but a quantum leap that could completely reshape the global aviation landscape. Indeed, on March 29, 2025, South China Morning Post reported a bold new development, the C949 supersonic passenger aircraft project. Developed by Comac, China's aerospace giant, this program is beginning to take shape with its first revealed details. More than just a jet, the C-949 carries the ambition to redefine how humans travel through the skies, ushering in a new era of high-speed air travel. So, what does this supersonic aircraft look like? The answer is the reason why China is confident in redefining global air travel. With bold ambitions, Comac engineers have unveiled the design of a supersonic passenger jet capable of reaching Mach 1.6 comma flying farther and quieter than the legendary Concorde. If successful, this project could propel China to the forefront of the 21 St. Century supersonic revolution. In addition, the research team led by Wu Dewey, an award-winning aerodynamicist at Comac, published a report on March 14th in Acta Aeronautica Sinica revealing that the C-949 is designed to achieve a range of up to 11,000 kilometers, 6,800 miles, which is 50% longer than the Concorde. More impressively, its sonic boom is reduced to just 83.9 decibels, comparable to the sound of a hairdryer, making it 20 times quieter than the thunderous boom of the Concorde. This breakthrough aims to overcome long-standing regulatory barriers that have restricted supersonic flights over land. Comac asserts that the aircraft's takeoff noise complies with the Annex 14 limits set by the International Civil Aviation Organization. Furthermore, this Chinese supersonic aircraft is not just China's ambitious leap, it is also a direct challenge to global competitors. This aircraft will go head-to-head -head with similar projects from other nations such as NASA and Lockheed Martin's X-59. The race is not just about technology, it is about rewriting the rules of the aviation industry. Notably, C949's design is optimized to minimize sonic booms and enhance aerodynamic performance. Its fuselage features an adaptive shape with a reverse curvature midsection designed to weaken shock waves and delay the transition into a disruptive sonic boom. A long, sharp nose divides the leading shock wave into three weaker waves, while aerodynamic bulges near the engines help disperse exhaust turbulence. These revolutionary improvements aim to make supersonic travel a viable reality in commercial aviation. Another breakthrough in this aircraft lies in its propulsion system. The aircraft will be powered by adaptive turbine engines capable of adjusting their bypass ratios for optimal performance in two modes, a low boom setting at Mach 1.6 and a fuel efficient mode at Mach 1.7 comma, cruising at an altitude of 16,000 meters. This feature is crucial for maintaining high efficiency while still adhering to environmental and noise standards. Now, for the most anticipated part, the C-949 is designed to accommodate between 28 and 48 passengers in an all-business-class cabin significantly smaller than the Concorde's 100-seat capacity. However, thanks to its extended range, this jet could operate non-stop flights from Shanghai to Los Angeles in just about five hours. Initially, it will focus on trans-Pacific routes to minimize noise complaints. According to industry estimates, the potential passenger base for supersonic flights could reach 45 million annually, around 1% of the global air travel market. Comac is laying out an ambitious roadmap for the future of Chinese aviation. 
The company aims to launch the RC929 in 2027 to compete with the Boeing 787, followed by the C939 in 2039, a super jet with 400 seats targeting Boeing's 777X and Airbus A350 market. The C949 is expected to enter service by 2049, coinciding with the 100th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. But Comac isn't stopping there. It is also hinted at a futuristic aerospace hybrid vehicle project, potentially pushing supersonic travel into an entirely new frontier. If this vision becomes a reality, it could reshape not only aviation, but also the global geopolitical landscape forever. Although it carries grand promises, this supersonic aircraft is bound to face countless challenges. History has shown that even legends like Concorde, a symbol of speed, luxury, and groundbreaking technology could not escape its eventual demise. So what caused the downfall of such a masterpiece? And can the C949 break free from history's repeating cycle? But wait a minute, we are so glad you always support us. If you're also an aviation enthusiast, let's stay on this journey together for a long time. Don't forget to show your support by hitting like, share, and subscribe so we can create a meaningful adventure together. Huge thanks. Concord was more than just an airplane. It was the realization of humanity's dream to conquer the skies. From its sleek silhouette to its ability to streak across the stratosphere, Concord embodied both ambition and perfection. It was the first passenger aircraft capable of crossing the Atlantic at twice the speed of sound, delivering fortunate travelers to their destinations faster than time itself. Powered by Rolls-Royce Olympus engines, generating 38,000 pounds of thrust, it could reach a maximum speed of 2,140 kilometers per hour and soar up to 60,000 feet, where passengers could gaze at the curvature of the Earth through their small windows. But speed alone didn't make Concorde legendary. This aircraft is a product of an exclusive world reserved for society's elite. With a cabin seating only 92 to 128 passengers, arranged in intimate four-seat configurations, every flight felt like a high-powered gathering of the world's most influential figures. Dining aboard was a fine culinary experience, with gourmet meals served on polished silver trays under the warm glow of soft cabin lighting. Its design was just as audacious as its mission. The sleek delta wing with a curved leading edge combined the best of high-speed aerodynamics and structural efficiency, while its signature droop nose tilted down during takeoff and landing for improved visibility. Unlike military supersonic jets that required continuous afterburners to sustain high speeds, Concorde achieved supersonic cruise without them an engineering marvel of its time. When Concord entered service with Air France and British Airways in 1976, it became an instant icon of opulence. More than just a mode of transport, it was a statement of power and prestige. Celebrities, politicians, and moguls saw it as the ultimate way to travel. The experience was unmatched and so was the price. A round trip ticket cost $12,000, which translates to around $66,000 today. But for those who can afford it, that money buys not just a ticket, but a passport into the world of luxury. Its slogan, arrive before you leave, wasn't just marketing, it was reality. Flying so fast that one could depart Paris at 10 a.m. and land in New York at 10 a.m. the same day, Concorde seemed to defy time itself. By 2003, the Concorde was retired, leaving behind an irreplaceable void in aviation history. That shows the fact that, no matter how magnificent and grand the Concorde was, it could not overcome the practical barriers. And this is what C-949 will have to face in the future. Despite being meticulously researched by 250 British aerospace engineers for 5,000 hours, roughly seven months, Concorde's flights were abruptly halted after just 27 years of service on October 24, 2003. But what led to its untimely end? Firstly, the cost was simply too high. Concord burned through 6,771 gallons of fuel on a typical flight, quickly outpacing the profits generated. Take the Soviet Tu-144, another supersonic giant. While it boasted a higher Mach speed of 2.15 compared to Concord's 2.04 comma, it failed to achieve sustainable success due to its inefficiency and prohibitive operational costs. The 2144 required afterburners throughout the flight and only flew a limited route from Moscow to Almaty. Secondly, beyond these operational costs, the limitations of supersonic travel contributed significantly to the aircraft's downfall. 
Flying at twice the speed of sound, its flights could only traverse oceans due to the intense shockwave it created, sonic booms capable of shattering windows in residential areas. Furthermore, the deafening noise every time a Concorde passed over a city sparked continuous complaints. With the supersonic boom reduced to just 83.9 decibels on the C-949, it is hoped that this aircraft will overcome the drawbacks of previous generations of supersonic planes. But non-stop there, the rising environmental movement turned fiercely against Concord, once synonymous with luxury, now equated with noise and pollution. Concerns over its noise level led to severe restrictions, limiting its transatlantic routes, and preventing takeoffs and landings in New York, Washington, London, and Paris. Moreover, market demand for this type of aircraft is not high. For instance, only 20 Concords were ever built, and no airline besides Air France and British Airways ever ordered them, largely because these two carriers were state-owned at the time. Finally, the tragic accidents haunt everyone to this day. The nail in the coffin came after a devastating public relations disaster following the 2000 Concorde crash in France, which claimed the lives of all passengers and crew on board. The decline in international travel post-September 11th proved to be the final blow, leading to the cessation of the Concorde project in 2003. Therefore, for C-949 to become a reality rather than just a dream, it will have to overcome the same challenges that brought down earlier supersonic aircraft, and that's no easy feat. Will we ever experience the thrill of supersonic commercial flight again? Share your thoughts with us. As always, thanks for being here. Wishing you safe and exciting flights ahead.